Okay, so last night's homework is 7.2. Write the simplest polynomial function with the given root. So we just did this. Let's do a few more of these. So this is how you do number one and number two. So if I told you that I had roots of four, negative six, and two thirds, give me the polynomial function that represents those roots. So what would you do? If you have a four as a rational root, that means four was where it crossed the x-axis. What kind of factor would that one have? x minus four. And then what kind of factor would negative six have? x plus six. And then what about two thirds? See if you can figure that one out. 3x minus 2. And again, why do I not put x minus 2 thirds? You've, you've not seen it that way before. Even though that would give me 2 thirds, you've never put fractions in your factors. So the 3x minus 2, if you set that equal to 0, you would move the 2 and divide by 3. I knew it. Move the 2 and divide by 3. So 2 thirds. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then what did we just discuss? Can we change the other things if it didn't say simplest? Sure, we could change anything in here. We could multiply the front one by 2. 2x minus 8. That's the same thing. You would get the same root. Are you with me? But this is the answer that they're looking for because it's the simplest. All right, so let's do another one. Let's do one like three or four. Okay, so let's make one up. Number three and four on your 7.2 homework, this is how you do those. So let's say that I had the square root of uh, 10, comma, I had a 2i and I had a 3. Where did those come from? What would be the factors? Tell me one thing you should know. X minus 3 is one of them. All right. Nope. Nope. Not. Oh, X squared minus 10? Why are you saying that? Yeah. So where would I have got a square root of 10 from? Taking the square root of 10, right? So how would I have taken the square root of 10? What would have been over here? an x squared. Does that make sense? So just take those off and x squared would equal 10, but where would that have come from? Why would I have 10 over there? I would have subtracted it, right? Are you with me? Now, how many roots does this one have? That's a trick question. How many roots did this one have? Three, what were they? Four, negative six, and two thirds. Right? Now, graphing wise, could I have come back through here and put odd things on here? And it still would have been an x intercept, but it would have happened at a multiplicity of more than one. Does that make sense? Are you with me? Yes, no, or maybe? Yeah? So how many times did the square root of 10 happen? Well, it only happened once. But to get a square root of 10, what also would I have to have? Uh, what do you do if you put a square root in a problem? Come on, guys. Yeah, but what do I do? What do I put in front? Positive or negative? Why? Because it can be either one of those. 
Just like x squared equals 9, <laughs> x could be 3 or x could be negative 3. Agreed? Agreed. Okay, so that's why x squared minus 10, this is one root, but there's really a second root there. It's just not stated there. Negative square root 10 would be one as well. Now, where did my i's come from? Where did my eyes come from yesterday? Look back in your notes. Negative in the square root. So how would I have got a 2 out of a square root with an I? No, that's close. X squared plus 2 equals, the, if that was the factor, do you see how I would get negative 2? And if I square rooted that... Plus or minus, right? What would the negative under the radical become? No. An I. So I'd have plus or minus 2, but the square root of 2 would just have to stay because the square root of 2 is just, that is an irrational number. But I need to get just a 2I, not square root of 2I. Well, the x minus 2. X squared plus 4. Why is it x squared plus 4? What would you do to solve for x? Take away 4 and then square root it. Y'all need to be paying attention to this. What's the square root of negative 4? I put a plus and minus in front of it. I can break it down to this. Would that be agreed? What's the square root of negative 1? I. What's the square root of 4? 2. And I have a plus or minus in front of that. I have those inverted, but does it matter? I2 is the same thing as 2I. Any questions? Okay. Should we do another one of those? Yeah. Okay. Let's do another one. Let's do the square root of 21. Let's do eight I and let's do negative one. X plus one for the negative one. Agreed. How would I have gotten eight I? No, nope. square root of negative 8 would stay the square root of negative 8. I had to get 8i, so what did I have to take the square root of, Monica? What? What were you going to say? X to the second plus 16? What did you do? Yeah, so you times 8 and 8 to get what? 64. 64. So this would become x squared plus 64 equals 0, right? Because when I subtract it, do you see how I'd get a negative 64? Square root of negative number would produce an i, and the square root of 64 would produce an 8. Any questions? So it would be x squared plus 64. And what's the third one going to be? How do I get the square root of 21? X squared minus 21. Because if I push that one over, I have x squared equals 21, and then the square root there would be plus or minus the square root of 21. Any questions? That's not too bad, is it? No. Okay, so that's your one through four, correct? Yes. Okay. Take two minutes and see if you can do three without me. Number three.